We are halfway through the Aviva Bulls England National Finals and it has been a thrilling nine days. 15 of the 35 finals have been wrapped up, including a bumper day of silver on day 7 that saw the men and women's champion of champions and junior pairs crowned, and the women's triples too, but 20 finals are all still to play for. And you can catch so much of what is to come live on our free streaming service. Just head to bowlsengland.com slash bowls TV. All you need to do is sign up and you'll be able to catch up on matches that you've missed. For joining action on day seven, it's the women's triples final and Kings BC of Devon are taking on Surrey's Egham BC. Representing Devon are Sophie Tolchart, Nicole Rogers and Harriet Stevens, while Rachel Gingell, Kelly Jenkins and Pam Garden make up Surrey's team. The Devon women have raced ahead and it's 14-1 in end 10 where we join play. Well done. Well played, Rachel. Two good yeah. opening balls there. Yeah, she's had a good game. I mean, they've played some really good stuff, haven't they, the Surrey ladies? I mean, the scoreline is, is a little bit savage. It's, uh, you know, they've played, uh, played out the skin, the Devon ladies. It's just them key balls that yes Harry has, Harriet has played really well she got the same pace oh, well played fantastic leading all three balls in the foot mm. past the jack yeah I mean, they're the kind of balls you have to play against Really good players. I mean, Nicole and uh, Harriet, they just, as soon as Surrey get in, they're just there straight away, aren't they? On them straight away. Yeah, and it's quite easy to get this hard in this, in this situation, but you've just got to keep going. You've just got to keep going. Hopefully, at some point, they will miss and you carry on playing good bowls. Down the forehand now, surely turn the pink bowl away. Yep. Makes a four, puts a little bit of pressure on. Yeah, she's playing it. She's left-handed. Slightly nipped the line. Run the gap. Well, that's not all bad. Where there isn't an element of danger. Yeah, don't want to flick it, does she? She's here again. Doesn't want to flick the jack. Well, it's opened it, I suppose. Yep, play down the open hand. Anything within two feet will count. A couple down, but taking the danger away. Just stay on the line and run. Yeah, well played. Just a stop. Just need to stop. <laughs> to burn my glasses cloth. <laughs> well, Mommy didn't run past the ball. <laughs> Certainly did. <laughs> Two yellow. They just need to be careful of the, uh, the last ball that just come in. Find the port. No damage done, I don't think. No. Still two to yellow. She's here again. Well, I'd be uh, slightly reaching now for Pam. Nice full draw, positive draw down through that port. Ideally, wants to get to that last bowl of Harriet Stevens. She's out well. Clear run. Great pace. Yeah, another good second. Three seconds. Just that high line didn't get back as much. Nope. I 
I mean, look at the scoreline. I'd be playing tight underneath for the ball here, sit the ball away for four, try and get back into this game. The ends are ticking down. Stood on the outside of the mat, so the bowl will bend a little bit more. Yeah. No, oh, Pam. I'll just join for that one. Well played. Shows you how using the mat can also help. Play the same line but move across to the outside and the bend automatically comes. Just see there the top right hand side. Scan here for the up to date results. And that's two for Surrey to help stop the rot. It's 14-3 uh, to Devon. N16, and despite some excellent balls from the Surrey team, Devon have extended their lead to 19-6. Surrey must add some points to their scoreline to stay in with a chance. They currently have one in hand, so what can their skip Pam Garden produce? Hang on. Uh, one second again. Mm, yeah, I think so. Just flip the ball over. Chat doesn't have to move too much, does it? She get to her own. One, two. Three, four. <laughs> Just wondering, would you take a chance here, Scott? I mean, she's lying too. Personally, I don't think that's enough. I mean, the way Harriet's been playing, I just don't see her missing. She looks like she's doing She's in the area. Can run unlucky, through. Can she run through? Oh, maybe. Maybe. She may have been unlucky again there. You know, that might be one in, one out. There's no real danger for Harriet now. He's just pushing through. Obviously, Nicole's ball's gone through. So it is one in, one out. Still just two to yellow. Again, another good ball with a, an unlucky result. She was, she was looking for the other ball. Flick the jack out, I think. There was a, a few on the wing side to try and generate that three or four and just hope Harriet misses. Down into the pack of bowls. Just hurry. Just hurry. Not finished yet. Oh, still two. So Surrey needs to score a minimum of two on this end to uh, force the last end. But uh, I mean, nine, we expected a nine on the last end. Oh, that's a massive ass. Some of the ball. Yeah, it's just ever so slightly longer than what they've been playing. I mean, it's just probably caught them all out a little bit. It just bends that a little bit extra at the end, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. So it starts to come here, and then there, where it really goes at the end, look, dives underneath. Still a measure. Up to the ball. Just sat the wrong way again. <laughs> that stuck away as well, didn't it? Look, I mean, it's been diving underneath. Harriet played probably two, three balls wide, and it's just gone almost straight. Half a chance, maybe, for Pam. Oh. Maybe thought it was a chance just to lift a pink ball away inside, make a three or a four. Yeah, Harriet's by the tight line and played it well. Ran off the pack. Yeah, great ball. That's a, one blue. That's a game. And national title shot. So any miss will give Devon the crown. 
Just trying to draw into it. Just close, but I mean, one isn't enough. You need to be making more than a one. one it's a great one. ball, but... Uh, Harriet's still going to play it anyway. Not much danger, is there? I mean, she's not bothered at one down. That's not enough, you know. No. Ten one needed. Yellow. So that is going to be a, a win Sorry. for the Devon Triple of Sophie Tolchard, Nicole Rogers and Harriet Stevens. They're going to take this Women's Triples National Title 19-9. And following their decisive victory, the Devon team shared their thoughts with us. Insane. Like that for you. Yeah. yeah. This is my first major, so I'm extremely Oh, it's very pleased. Yeah, everyone's special, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Every win special. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, it's just nice to get over the line. The semi final was really tough. Um, so it's just nice to go out there, play good bowls, settle in, and then get that win. Yeah. What have been the key moments throughout the rounds which have got the win over the line? I think I think we've just been we've been pretty consistent. I think we've all been happy, pretty much happy with our games. We just work well as a team. Like there's been ends where I've not been there, then Nicole's backed it up, or Nicole's not been there, then Harriet's turned it around. We've not really been in a great deal of the trouble, which has been quite nice. We've always had bowls around and we've had options. So I think yeah, yeah, we're pretty yeah, really, yeah, yeah, we're happy with how we've played. It's been a good tournament. Um, can't pick out one bad, one overall bad game. So we've all pitched in when we needed to, and that's. And any celebrations for tonight? Definitely the Oh yeah, definitely not. Far now. Yeah. Cool. Both teams are buzzing and congratulations. Day eight and round three of the women's pairs is Lincolnshire's Ruby Hill and Chelsea Spencer against Northumberland's Casey Saltman and Jess Weir. We join play in ends 10 where Northumberland have racked up a commanding lead of 11-4. Close for second. Definitely two now. Just needs to miss the front with decent pace. I mean, just get inside the second pink pole. It just bend a little bit more. Oh, there's that straight with that weight. Just lacking a little bit of pace for that shot. Needs to be a little bit uh, more conviction in it. Get another one in here and close this gap right down. To bet. Oh, that's up straight now again. Ooh, and me. Yeah. Shame, pretty decent pace. So I think that's going to be a two. So that just slightly closes Ooh, the gap now. And after 10 ends, the score is uh, Lincolnshire 6, Northumberland 11. I think she's just got to play through. That plant looks pretty good as well, that front plant. White one's good. Let's play it nice and firm. Chelsea's probably just going to try and cover something or make something slightly tidier double blue bowl plant is very good she's in right this time Northumberland have been in trouble in the draw that's a good bowl least third, maybe second. Oh, can Chelsea get to it? Don't think so, not without that real danger of landing the front of self. Well, 
just flick that. Oh, well played. It may have just made the three. A great ball. Blue, oh, the comeback yellow, song. 11 ends. 11 9. Just needs to run as far as it can round the back. Missed the line. Hard to tell from here. I mean, you can see it's definitely the two vectors. Not sure for a third. Any shuffle or turn on the other ball will guarantee. Slips on the outside also guarantees. Having a little measure. Northumberland widened the gap. That's another three there to make it 14 9. End 17, and the Lincolnshire ladies have reduced the deficit to just two points with two ends left in the match. Can they come from behind and take the lead for the first time, or will Northumberland continue to keep them at bay? Well, again, a good ball with a little bit of a bad result. Ideally, she wanted just to miss this front bowl, get down to the second shot bowl nice and solid. She gets that little touch look. Not only does it go towards the jacket, it's the way it sits back, so it's still quite open. That's where Chelsea needs to be. Leave the four. Run for cover. I think the Northumberland skips to be a bit more aggressive at this. Keep it simple. That's, it's very difficult, that hand on the white settings with a bit of pace. Dives or it sticks, as you just seen there. Play a little bit more direct. Wants to run. Wants to run. So still a chance. Split and then drag the jack for a four. Not going to get back in time. Doesn't want to flick it over. Chelsea's got to go a lot deeper, surely. a bit deeper she's got to play quicker at this looking for that jack one two onto the jack Well, still not far. I mean, she needs to play a lot quicker at this. Look at all this back position here. Scott Walton has just jumped into the commentary box with me for the last couple of ends. Well done on your win. Thank you very much. Oh, she's playing that difficult pace. I mean, with that pace, if she turned that wing bowl onto oh. it, she was dropping a six. Four yellow. Four. 16, 18, 17 ends. Northumberland's Jess Weir kills the 18th end to avoid defeat. The end will be replayed. Can Northumberland get the two points they need to force an extra end? Well, I mean, the shot's still there. It's not easy, isn't it? I mean, one's no good. She needs to get 
touch on the jack. Get it out. Well, hold she on. She is higher. Just run. Oh, she took the pace off. She had to draw. One in the head. A little siesta. Ooh. Well. A little squeeze on the jack, isn't it? Gets down to the shot bowl. Not quite sure what the gap is between the shot bowl and the jack. I don't think it's bang on it. No, there's a shot there just... Probably four or five inches behind. If she can get down and just sit it down. Maybe a chance for two. Yep. Force the extra end. She's not far away, you know. She's close. She's close. She needs to hang on. Got no it. Jack. Got it. Well oh. played. What a great ball. That's a great ball. Now, has it stayed in for two? That'd be very unlucky if it hasn't. Must be up into the area. Any little movement on the jack. Just hit the wall of the two balls, yeah. no? Land the platform. Make sure it's fully accommodated. Yep, certainly in the area. Now gets to that Does it want the gap? Oh, I don't know. Don't know if that's enough or not. <laughs> well, she's oh, slightly under the line. Oh, don't know. I don't know. We're gonna have a look. Oh, that's a shot ball. Might be an extra end. So you see. It's an extra end. Is it? Has she done that middle one yet? Yes, yeah, she has, yeah. Two shots. Extra end. Extra Blue. end. 18 all, 18 ends. Got balls there. I mean, you're going to cover the back, cover the other side where the jack's going. Close. Just needs to stay there. Ball on the jack. Oh, well played. Really good. Yeah, she's just looking just to play up on the forehand. Anything down into that split's very, very good. She's played the delicate pace, but she's played it very, very well. Sits off that ball. Touched on the jacks. That ball is now a live ball as well, which will help. So, whether Jess does go quicker at this, or whether she just tries to sit her other ball down. She flick it across. Obviously, flick, for the quicker one. Flick that wide ball across well, onto it. That'd be the best result. Mm -hmm. Chelsea just trying to play the blocker there. Just trying to play less again. pace. I mean, she is finished on the right side there, and it is, is the best back, I think. I'm terrible. Sorry. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Chelsea just acknowledging how, how bad a ball was. So, last ball about to come down. Just currently one down. And the ties line. One of them to wick off, Jason. One oh, of them to wick off, Jason. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> A little tapo <laughs> might have uh, just got that, so it's uh, not meant to be. I mean, very interesting game. The Northumberland ladies got off to a flying start, 11-4 at the halfway time. Chelsea and Ruby, well, they stuck in. Dragged it back to an extra end. And it was just not meant to be. So it's a win for Lincolnship. Well, despite that brilliant comeback, Lincolnshire's road to the final ended in the quarters after a dazzling display from Devon. Day nine and the men's triples quarterfinals have arrived. Derbyshire, represented by Josh Grant, Dan Thornhill and Skip Philip Broughton are facing Chris Weeks, Ben Powley and Skip Perry Martin of Hampshire. The first half of the game has been close. Send nine saw so four points go to Derbyshire before Hampshire tightened the gap with three of their own. How will it pan out? Well played again. Wants to sit it. One, two. Yeah, three. 
That's another one, mate. You sit that, you get second. The three, but no alarm for Derbyshire. Still room there for them. Can he get back? Can he get back? Good effort. Yeah, could be second, couldn't yeah, it? could be. Well played. Three really good Just bowls. Running off the bowls and down. Yep. Yep. Three really good bowls from Ben. Well, is he here? He is. How's your look, Dan? Ooh, we could. Oof. Yeah, gonna fall away as well. Oh. Here and me. Oof. That's Matt Biff. That was dreadfully unlucky. In a way, he probably wanted to just miss that jack. Yeah, yeah miss the jack. I mean, you know, he was just bowling just over the pace, which was good to sit in the bowls and sort of the jack got in the kind of thing. This looks good, doesn't it? Doesn't want, doesn't want to sit back on the jack. Mm. Can he miss that front? No. He was just lacking the pace. The, the pace would have carried him over the top, wouldn't it? Nestles it into that pack. That's going to be really good. Just lacking, yeah. I think. Yeah. This he might be a good bowl, though. Oh, it's just no, down. He's round that. Yeah. 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 Gone. Just that bowl wide. Can he work off it? No. Two, three, four. Yes, it's four, isn't it? What a great head! I know he's five down, but what a great head of bowls. Yeah, yeah, really good. If he gets third, I don't think he'll be overly yeah. bothered. Yeah, I think he's still the jack, yeah. and hopefully he'll, his bowler hang around for second. Just not getting back, is it? Again? No. Oh gosh, wow. five. Yeah. So what a difference a couple of ends makes. Five yellow. 12, 15. N17 and the game still remains tight, but Hampshire have leapfrogged Derbyshire to lead 18-15. Well, well nice little nice touch. Excellent oh. ball, Danny. Yeah, brilliant. Half a pound or so, mm. yeah. Just playing the other hand, okay. Doesn't want to hit his own oh. on this hand. Can't see what he's touched. It's a four end draw for Perry, I think. Drop off the back blue bowl for second. Round one. Let's play. Just watch your angle. 
Well, well, up. It's okay. Still yep. two, no? Yep. No idea. Where's it gone? Uh, oh, hey, oh. Oh. Substitute. Big chance here to get back to all level for the mm. last end. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 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 Give it a kick. <laughs> Oh, I just needed that squirrel just to give it a little yeah. stamp it in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we called it from an early stage. Yep. That this was likely to be a close finish, and uh, that has been the case. You can just see that very short blue ball is uh, just dictating, really, the pace that... Uh, Just too quick. Yeah. So another chance for Derbyshire. Mm. Well, needs to break. Needs to break now. Doesn't want to flick that in. Yeah, he doesn't want that. No. It's okay. Difficult when you're trying to bend round a ball with decent pace. Just playing underneath it. Yeah. Close. Close. Got it. Yes. Oh, perfect. What a bow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see as long as it was underneath that ball and no jack contact, then he was always going to get that away. So that's a lie there, a game lie for, for Derbyshire too. It is. Perry has another attempt at this one. He's now looking to flirt the front. Just needs a contact on the bowl or the jack. Oh, I think he's got the wrong side of it, has he? I think he'll attack this. Yep. I think this is drawn to try to draw as close as he can. Oh, he's underneath. Yes, I think he is. Trying to block the runner on the other hand here, I think. Yes, I think he is, yeah. Not far away, you know. No, it's not bad, that. That's not bad. I think Dan thinks it's slightly underneath. Phil likes it. Mm, it's not bad. He's playing the forehand. He's got to play direct, <laughs> hasn't he? So, Perry, one ball. Yeah. Going for the hole. Is he drawing? Well. Well. Oh, no. it's going to fall back down to short. I think that's two to Derbyshire, it is. isn't it? It is. It is. Well, what a game that is. I mean, it was all one sided to start with for Derbyshire. Yeah. Hampshire got the jack, changed the length up a little bit. It was. Uh, Nip and tuck, really, in that last few ends, but it's going to be two there on the last turn for Derbyshire, and they're going to put their place into the men's triples semi final.